The Paris Agreement is an international treaty on climate change within the United Nations framework, dealing with carbon emissions mitigation, adaptation and finance. And today it's the fifth anniversary since it was declared. The agreement reflects the principle of common but differentiated responsibilities. And it requires economic and social transformation to fix the climate challenges now and moving into the future. The agreement can be summarized in five key points. Some are goals, such as limiting greenhouse gas emissions and decreasing temperatures. Others are principles, such as burden sharing between countries, transparency and revision. In fact, everyone can contribute to the beauty of the world, doing their part as an active citizen, part of a wider community. Keep warming below 2 degrees Celsius or better to 1.5 degrees Celsius compared to pre-industrial levels. Limit the amount of greenhouse gases emitted by human activity to the same levels that trees, ocean and soils can absorb naturally. Developed countries must help poorer nations by providing climate finance in order to adapt to climate change and switch to renewable energy. There is no penalty for countries that miss their emission targets, but there are transparency rules to encourage them to do what they agreed. Review each country contribution to cutting emission every five years. Each review must show an improvement compared with the previous period. Which contribution will give it to the Paris Agreement? The first thing we did was creating a research and development unit that was working in two main pillars. One is about how buildings can be adapted to the climate and that can be done through research in material but also in nature-based design. And one example is Tecla, is a building printed by Hertz. And the other one is what is the lesson from the past before the Industrial Revolution. So I think two pillars give us the chance to design a better building for the future.